Hey everybody, hey everybody, first video since I've been down here. It is September 8th. We arrived down here September 6th. I have my coffee from the room. Um, it is about, going on about 9 a.m. And, sorry, I have an itch on my nose and I would be itching now. Let me just go downstairs here for you, with you. Um, you can see. <laughs> Let's go this way. Good morning from Pop. There was people behind me and I didn't want them on film. However, it's a beautiful day here. They are, they did say that they're expecting some storms and I don't know, hopefully not. As you see here, like years ago, the pool used to open early in the morning. It now opens up here at 10 a.m. That, that never was the case. I'm just letting you know. We used to come down here at like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. You'd see people in the pool already. So we are staying in the 60s building now when we first arrived here I had requested the 60s building and she gave me kind of not really gave me a problem but she says oh we have you set up here for the 50s I says you know what we usually stay either at the 60s I'll even take the 70s um cast members down here have been okay I do see a change in the attitude I do see this I have been very kind and, you know, understanding, absolutely. I've done my homework, my research. I've been coming down here a long friggin' time, so I know the ropes. Um, but the ropes have changed, as you all know. Pandemic is okay, however, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit down over here. Of course, there's people passing by, but I'm gonna sit over here. Ah. Uh pandemic is okay but um there to me i'll be honest with you um to me there is no excuse i don't know i, I come down here there was no one down here all of a sudden everybody's here to me there is no excuse why they can't go back fully to absolutely everything I'm gonna let you in on something. My husband had, we arrived here on the 6th, which was Tuesday, okay. Checked in was okay, everything was okay. We got our room, like I said. We did, she did all of a sudden manage to find a build, a, a room in the 60s. So we're in the, four, we're in the 40, uh, 400 section, uh, 4,000 section, uh, it's at 4228, 4227, one of those. But anyhow, it's a, it's a nice room. Um, the thing is, Changes that have been done, I see them down here. I don't think that it is necessary. I think everything should go back. A lot of things should actually go back to the way it was. However, cast member did find a room. Okay, fine. We wound up going to the Magic Kingdom that first day. And, you know, we don't, we don't have reservations for any rides or anything. So that's, that's number one. The thing is, is that when... After It was after that we came back from the Magic Kingdom that there was a problem. My husband was getting emails. And he didn't see the emails until we came back because, thank God, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, you're on vacation. You really don't want to look at your phone. The thing is, is that he looked at the emails. He says, Maureen, could you please look at this? And he had, like, this worry. I said, what's the matter? And I looked down. All his reservations from the next day, which was September 7th on until the day we leave, which is the 12th, all his reservations for the parks and all the food reservations, the dining was canceled. Each confirmation, each, each reservation had a confirmation canceling number. Now I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I go to call the Disney number on my phone from the room because we were basically in our pajamas at that point. He says, Maureen, these came in at one o'clock this afternoon. I just seen them now. No, no problem. No, 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 no. I'm trying to remain calm, but then I'm not calm. So the thing is, is that I'm calling, I'm calling the Disney number. 
I'm calling, I'm calling. I finally get somebody. I explain the whole freaking situation. She then has to transfer me over to the my Disney Experience Department. Okay, fine. I get a lovely guy named Tim. We're talking. He asks me for my phone number, my reservation. He says, yeah, I see that on here, he goes. We were just getting into the conversation when, in fact, I got cut off. So, okay. I said, you know what? Not going to panic just yet. I wind up picking up the phone and calling again. Now, you know down here as well as I know that the Wi-Fi down here absolutely sucks. Okay, I've known that for years, even when they first did the Wi-Fi. So I could see there's no change in the Wi-Fi. Um, you know, things happen. So I switched off my phone, my Wi-Fi, and I put back on my 5G because I can do that. I can go through my T-Mobile, my 5G. Why anybody uses free Wi-Fi? I have a phone plan that is unlimited data, so it doesn't matter to me. I could just use my, my 5G. Okay, fine. I switch over to 5G. I wind up calling Disney again. This time I got a lovely lady. I said the situation, what I'm looking for. I need the, my Disney experience department. So I knew, you know, they knew not to play games with me to switch me right over. I have a lovely lady. Second phone call, lovely lady. We're talking, conversation gets cut off. Says to my husband, it's just, you know, here we go. This is the first night. Everything else was okay up until this point. I said, you know what? Pajamas, no pajamas. I usually walk around down here in my pajamas at nighttime anyway. I do. I go to the gift shop. I go to everything pop. I go to I go to have maybe a, a dessert. But anyhow, we hike it over here to the lobby. And what it is is that I spoke to the lady. Now, I knew the person who had um, did our reservation and checked us in. I don't do the phone reservation because I wanted to request the 60s. And I do have 60s requested on my account. Believe it or not. I go through the whole conversation. I said, a woman by the name of Terry had checked us in today. I said, she also checked out Magic Bands, which is what I, when you do check in, at least, you know, check your Magic Band. Make sure that it's actually linked upon check-in. I do this just for a precaution. And I could see everything that I did for the precaution wind up got, got screwed up anyway. So I explained the situation. She winds up picking up the phone. Of course, they can get the department right there. They wind up getting the, the department. And the thing is with that, she winds up explaining, my husband shows her the emails and everything. Okay, the cancellation. She's now has this look on her face. And I says, well, listen, I said, we just got down here. You're gonna tell me all my reservations are canceled and my dining, that's gonna be a problem, okay? I says, it's not your fault, I says, but there's gonna be a problem. Okay, fine. She winds up calling. She's on the phone. Me and my husband are looking at each other. Ah, uh, she's going, ah, uh, I got it. Okay, she says, no problem. She's got a little smile on her face. I says, okay, fine. Gets off the phone. But before that, she had to confirm that she was a cast member, give her cast member um, ID number and everything to the person on the phone. I guess they have to check that as well, and that's fine. She hangs up the phone. She says, okay. Upon this, this afternoon, she says they had had a major update for the app. I said, okay. I says, they had an update. I says, but they sure as hell gave confirmation numbers for the cancellations. Can you explain that? She says, yeah, it's a total glitch. So she goes back into my system. She resets my system. I took off my magic band. I took off his magic band. I said, do me a favor, reset, you know reset the um, magic bands. I said, I really don't want a problem. I says, now tomorrow, which was the seventh, I says, I have for Hollywood Studios, I says, and then we also have dinner. So she winds up, she says, yeah, everything here is fine. You're fine, you're fine, she says. It was a glitch. She says, at that moment, she says, you're not the only one. She says, everybody got wiped out of the system and then they got put back in. I says, can you guarantee me that there's not gonna be a problem? She says, there's not gonna be a problem. I do guarantee you. She says, if you do have a problem, she says, which you won't. But if you do have a problem with the park or whatever, she says, you can always go to guest services. Okay, fine. I said, that's cool. I, I, I accept that, that's great. Um, and I thanked her very much. She says, Mrs. Ferrari, everything is in, you're fine. I said, okay. I said, my husband, she said, yeah, he's fine. Now I didn't get any of those email with any cancellation, only my husband did, which I thought was weird. 
but he got it anyway. So that's, that's fine. So from now on, this is two days later. We're now September 8th. We're good. Um, today we're going to go to Epcot. We didn't go early this morning. We didn't go. Um, I have so much to talk about, so much to discuss, but I'm going to do it in little spits. Right now, this was the thing. My advice to anybody, to anybody who does the magic band, who is doing, you know, who has your accounts, who has your park reservations. What I've been doing is screenshotting every day. Screenshot every day and save those photos. But this way for your park reservation, screenshot every day of what park did you have for your reservation. Just take that page. Take a shot of that page. This way they have confirmation that you're not, you know, if they can't get into the system for any reason, that you actually have proof that you actually have a park reservation. And that's what's going to work. Um, it's just, it's, it, you know what it is? It's just a precaution. Just screenshot your days with the park pass reservation. It says park pass reservation. Make sure that you have those, okay? That's the advice that I can actually give. Um, we had breakfast at McDonald's yesterday, which was pretty good. That was that was a, a, an experience. See, I'm not used to any of that. I mean, I wanna go, I wanna go to the counter and make my order, which I could probably still do. But my husband, when in Rome, he'll do as the Romans do. <laughs> He says, well, let's just try the machine. Let's just try the machine. It's why can't we just go to the counter? Um, he's trying the machine and he orders his pancakes. Okay, pancakes. He says, oh, I don't want the sausage. He says, order the sausage. If this comes with the sausage, take the sausage. I'll eat the sausage. I had the um, uh, uh, sausage and egg breakfast burrito. I always loved that anyway with my hot picante sauce. And um, we had coffee and stuff. And I had a tea. He had a coffee. And it came out to maybe about 14 bucks. So that meal was the, was the actual cheapest meal here so far, which was the McDonald's breakfast yesterday for $14. Um, so much to say, so much to, to talk about. So many, um, you know, I'm pointing out everything that has changed. You know, it's, 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 I think it, it, did it change for the better? No, it just changed. I think the form of laziness to go back to the original, original way because they've been doing the pandemic routine now for so long, that's what I think the problem is. I won't confirm that for me anyway until the end of this trip, which is the 12th. Um, coming down here on the flight, the flight started out good and everything. Took my Benadryl for my ears. My ears made it, it was okay. However, it was a freaking bumpy flight and I get scared shitless with that i don't want to feel when i'm in the and see if i'm right on this i don't want to feel when i'm in midair i know turbulence i know that i've been through turbulence i've actually slept through turbulence in 1993 in aruba i don't remember a thing about that but my whole family says oh you know we went through a bad storm really thank god you didn't wake me up to experience it anyhow i was trying to remain calm you don't want to feel or i don't want to feel like i'm driving in manhattan new york in my car driving over a bunch of potholes because basically this is what that felt like and we were there maybe for about a good 10 minutes up in the air with the turbulence and i says does this guy really know what he's doing that was the first thing guy kind of acted like a comedian this pilot and it's it's i you know what i'm not funny in midair um and neither was his co-pilot. His co-pilot was actually late getting there. He was there first, and then he actually came out to the gate when we were all sitting waiting to board, and he's coming out, and I knew he was looking for his co-pilot. I said, please, I can't have this. This is, like, unbelievable. But I guess that was the comedy portion of it. My husband watched the new movie Maverick on the plane. He really enjoyed it. Of course, now he wants to buy the DVD. <laughs> anyway, um, the shortest of that would be that was that was actually the first day we did eat we ate the first night at planet hollywood which was the sixth after magic kingdom we went over to disney springs and we ate at planet hollywood um the meal was okay not jumping for joy my husband had what did he have he had a chicken a roast roasted chicken with mashed potatoes, roasted chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans, which my husband's not really a fan of green beans. I said, but you know what? You take the green beans, I'll eat them. Doesn't matter, you know? It's, it's fine, I could work that out. I had a breaded chicken basket. They were like chicken finger basket. 
uh, chicken tenders, they call it. Well, if it was chicken tenders, they were not tender. I'm gonna say that. They had the batter on it, which was very good. The batter was kind of like you would have for onion rings. It's kind of like a beer batter. I enjoyed the flavor of the chicken. I enjoyed my husband's green beans, <laughs> which actually kind of give you the feeling that they were more, not in uncooked, but basically steamed in oil. And, but they were hard. My husband would have never liked it. He didn't even try one. I, I, know, I know for a fact he would have never liked it. Um, I know my husband, he just, he just doesn't care for them. The only time he'll eat the green beans is at the 50s prime time. So that's gonna be coming up too, soon too. Um, that was the first night, Planet Hollywood. And um, that whole place has changed. They call it now the Planet Hollywood Observatory, which the whole atmosphere has changed. The whole ambiance has changed. We did have a cool table, which was actually basically you're eating off of a Samsung TV set. And the video sets are up on the screen. You're actually seeing on the table. It was kind of cool. I said to my husband, why can't we have the table like this in my dining room? We could watch TV while we eat. <laughs> that didn't go over too well. Anyway, um, yeah, just little things like that. I am pointing out some things. I'm writing a lot of things down. I am saving my receipts for everything that I spend, including souvenirs not just the food um and last night we ate at uh, sci-fi and i'll just i'll get to that at another time but anyway i just wanted to come on say hi and thank you so much for all your interactions thank you so much for all your interactions on the on the instagram really i mean i i'm i'm enjoying that i thank you so much for cheering me on and everything um my attitude wise kind of comes and goes it's like i feel I'm angry. I'm still angry. I'm still angry. There's a lot of things I'm still angry. Just this morning, we had breakfast. We decided to eat here at Pop. My husband likes his bounty platter. I says, listen, dude, what you think is a bounty platter is no longer on the menu. So he wanted his pancakes. Okay. Like the McDonald's, he had his pancakes. He has his pancakes here. He looks at them, and I know, he because he's like a five-year-old, vanilla, vanilla pancakes, he's going, v vanilla well, I, I, I'm not going to like that. He goes, I said, no, believe me, you're really not hardly going to taste anything. It's just an ingredient. They just made it on the menu to look fancy. At least that's what I came up with. Um, you have to talk like a, you know, to like a five-year-old kid. No, no, it's good. It's good. It's good food. Uh, so I got away with that. <laughs> I says, how was the pancakes? Yeah, they're not bad. Okay, fine. I know it wasn't what he wanted. I ordered the ham and cheese omelet, which I used to love down here. The ham and cheese omelet was pretty much basically the same. But instead of home, uh, uh, home fries or hash browns, they give you tater tots. Okay. Now, I'm not a five-year-old kid. I don't care for tater tots. They were very crispy. They were fresh. They were very crispy. However, they're sitting in the cold. The tater tots were cold. The ham and cheese omelet was warm, wasn't hot. My husband's pancakes were lukewarm. Now, years ago, they used to, and I always used to do this, God, God bless my mother-in-law, because I had her doing it when we were down here. To keep the food hot, they used to give you a plastic cover. I said to my husband, you notice there's no plastic covers. I asked for plastic covers. This crew doesn't know what I'm talking about. I said, all right, let's just get to the table and eat. We're eating cold food. Just, just get used to it. Um, I doubt if my husband will be eating breakfast here again, you know. And we used to eat breakfast here every morning. It was a set thing with us. But um, I guess not. So we'll probably wind up going back to McDonald's, you know. All right. One more time, people. Thank you so much. I'm starting to sweat. I am having coffee from the room. I love my coffee makers in the room. I always did. I love the little coffee. The, two, the Cuisinart two-cup coffee maker. I love it. By the way, they have the Joffrey's 50th anniversary coffee in the room with the packets. So, and by the way, I'm still not tasting blueberry. Just, just saying on you know, my review, as you guys remember. Um, lots to talk about. We did lots of things right now so far that we didn't even think we were going to do. Just saying, for last night, my husband got very emotional. So did I, you know. So if he wanted me to crack, if he was waiting for me to crack during this, he, he got what he wanted last night. Um, that's all. I'm going to leave that right there. I have, a lot, I have a lot of other things to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. 
Thank you so much again for all your interactions. My back is killing me, by the way. I've been walking. I've been doing 13,000 steps. I did 13,000 steps Tuesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. I did 11,000 and change. So that was pretty good. I'm going to leave you here from the pool. Backdrop of the pool. Ain't that nice? Um, yeah. One more time. And I thank you again for everything. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. I do have another subscriber. I see you out there. Hi. Welcome. Thank you so much for popping on and joining in. God bless you. Today is Epcot. And I am dressed for Epcot. I do have my, uh, my ears, my orange bird ears, but they're upstairs. I do have my little paparazzi jewelry, which is my little orange. Represent an orange bird. You have to. All right. God bless. Take care, everybody. I will talk to you soon with another video soon. Love to all. Have a great, great day. Bye-bye.